Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about percent, and we're going to tackle this particular problem. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. It says uh, 4.2 is 18.5% 18 18 of what number? Now, if you think you can do this problem, I would say, okay, go ahead and pause the video, get your calculator out, and do it in your way and come up with your answer. Now, there's a couple different ways that percent could be taught uh, to students. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, although I have my kind of preference to, uh, to teach percent, as long as you know how to get the answer confidently, that's really the most important thing at the end of the day. So if you learned percent way back 20 years ago, 30, 40, 50 years ago, maybe five years ago, it doesn't make a difference. If you know how to do this prom, you're like, okay, I could do this prom and know exactly how to do this prom, then maybe pause the video and do it. It would take you all of about maybe 10, 15 seconds and then go ahead and have your answer. And maybe we can kind of, you know, compare answers here in a second because I'm going to solve this problem. But if you're confused about it, well, then stick around for a couple minutes uh, because we're going to be talking about percent. And this little symbol right here is so important. You know, as a math teacher, I hear, you know, when am I ever going to use math? You know, do I need math? You know, is this a practical, you know, skill to have? Well, math is probably one of the most important things that you need, you know, outside of uh, reading and writing. Okay, math is right up uh, there because, you know, especially percent, you know, just think about everything. Uh, that you do every day that you walk into this particular little uh, symbol, okay, whether there's a sale or you're reading about inflation or whatever the case is, you have to understand percent. And the more you know about percent, the better off you're going to be um, in your own life in terms of, you know, practical math. So we're going to get into this problem here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're studying any level of mathematics, middle school, high school, even college level math, I could help you pass your course. If you are taking some sort of test that has math on it, for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, a teacher certification exam, a nursing school entrance exam, you get the idea. There's a ton of exams out there, and all those exams have a dedicated math section on them. So I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a complete comprehensive homeschool uh, math program. And uh, if you need math notes, I'm going to leave uh, some links to my math notes in the description of this video. Hopefully you do not need my notes because uh, over decades of teaching math, this is one of the most important things you need to be doing to be successful in mathematics. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tackle this problem now. If you want to pause the video and just, you know, do your, um, you know, do do this uh, problem just to compare, see if you know how to do it, well, then go ahead and, and do so. But I'm going to get into it right now. All right, now before we get into the actual problem, let's just review real, real basic percent problems. So if I said... Uh, find 8% of 25. Okay, 8% of 25. Do you know how to do this problem? Well, hopefully you know how to do this basic, basic percent problem because if you can't do this, then you're going to have a tough time with the current problem that we're having. But let's just talk about how to find a percent of a number. All right, so here I have 8% of 25. So what you need to do, if you recall, we need to take our number, our percent. So here it's 8%. We have to rewrite it as a decimal. So 8% as a decimal is 0 0.08. So how does that happen? Okay, well, we have 8% and we're going to convert it to a decimal. Okay, in other words, we're going from a percent to a decimal. So how do uh, I do that? Well, there's a couple ways to think about this. First, you can take your percent and divide it by 100 and you can end up uh, with your decimal. But uh, pro probably most of you remember that we have our percent. What you really do is uh, dividing by 100 is the same thing as moving the decimal point two places to the left. Okay, so you're going to go two to the left on your decimal point. So, uh, again, two ways to think about it. You, you could take that percent, so in this case, 8, divided by 100, and you will get our decimal. Or we could just move the decimal point over two places to the left. So let's go ahead and do that here review that so there's no confusion. So we have 8%. So some of you are like, well, where's the decimal point? I don't see the decimal point. Well, 8 is the same thing as 8.0%. Okay. So now let's go ahead and move that decimal point over two places to the left. That's one. And then we have two. Okay. So the, right here, 
instead of 0.8, we have 0 0.08. So 8% um, is equal to 0 0.08 as a decimal. Okay, so this is uh, the first part of being able to do this particular problem. So now that we have our percent as a decimal, we're just going to multiply by the number. So 8% of 25, 0.08 times 25, and you can do this in your calculator or just do it by hand, is equal to 2. And so we can kind of express this whole uh, problem as 8% of 25 is 2. Okay, This word in mathematics is, is the equal sign. Okay, So anytime you see that, that's what, it, uh, that's what it's equivalent to. Okay, So I could write uh, this, the whole entire thing, 8% of 25 is equal to to two, and that's going to come in handy as we do this problem. So let's get into it now and talk about what's going on. Now, this is the way I like to uh, to do these particular uh, percent problems. I like to kind of use a real basic algebra equation. Again, if you whatever way you learn percent, as long as you are confident in your answer and you and you're you know, certain that you know exactly you know what you're doing to get the right answer, uh, then that's what counts. Okay, because here, let me just go up here real quick. I have 4.2 uh, is 8% of what number? Just think about all the crazy different combinations of things you could do, uh, numbers you can produce. You could be like, oh, I'll take that 4.2 and I'll divide it by 18.5. Or maybe I'll take 18.5 and divide it by 4.2. Or maybe I'll take 0 0.042 and multiply it by 1 a, uh, 1, uh, 18.5. You see, there's all kinds of th things you can manipulate. You obviously are going to have to like multiply or divide these numbers in some manner. So to avoid you being lucky, getting the right answer, okay, you're like, oh, I did something. I got the answer right. That's not you know good enough uh, when in terms of math. You have to be certain that you know exactly what you did and why you did it to uh, solve this problem. All right, so let's get to it. I'm going to show you how I like to set up these basic equations, um, basic algebra equations to solve these problems. So here is the problem. Uh, 4.2 is, okay, again, this word is, is the same thing as the equal sign, 18.5% of what number? Now, in algebra, uh, when I say, when you when you see the, a phrase like this, what number, we can just represent some number as a variable like x okay these x and y these variables just represent a number so i'm kind of uh, translating or thinking of this problem in terms of algebra i'm starting to use symbols to kind of replace these words so 4.2 is or that's going to be the equal sign 18.5 percent of some number or what number so i'm going to use that as x so if i wanted to find 18.5 percent of 30 okay Let's just think of some number. This makes up a number, uh, some number up in our head. 18.5% 18 of 30, what would I do? Well, I would take my percent here, remember, and I'm going to convert this to a decimal, and then I'm going to multiply by whatever number. Okay, so I'll take this percent, I'm going to convert it to a decimal, and then I'll multiply whatever number. In this case, I don't know what that number is, but this word is it's going to be equal to this answer so let's just kind of decipher that here for a second and um, think about what i just wrote okay so 18.5 percent of some number well i would take 18.5 percent rewrite it as a decimal that's 0.185 so i'm moving this over two places to the left that decimal point so there's 18.5 percent expressed as a decimal and I'm multiplying it by some number, okay? Whatever number that is, I don't know what that is, but I know it is equal to the answer 4.2, okay? So let's read this sentence to make sure this makes sense. 4.2 4 .2 is, and let's just even add the, uh, an extra word in here, 4.2 is equal to 18.5% of some number or what number that is X. Okay, so now uh, this 4.2 is equal to 0.185x. This is a basic algebraic equation, and let's see this a little bit more clear. Okay, 4.2 is equal to 0.185x. I can write this this way, 0.185x. So just moving this to this side of the equation and this to this side of the equation. That's perfectly legal in algebra. So 0.185x. Uh, 0.185 times x or 0.185x is equal to 4.2. So to solve for x, 
Okay, all I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0.185. Okay, and now x is going to be equal to 4.2 divided by 0.185. I go into my little calculator, and that's approximately equal to 22.702. There's some uh, other decimals, but this would be good enough for our uh, purposes here. So if you got this correct, okay, you knew exactly, you didn't get lucky, okay, by just manipulating some things, but you knew exactly what you needed to do because your teacher way back in the day taught you this, then that's outstanding. That's what counts. You don't have to do it my way, but I must give you a awesome happy face with a good old 1987 Mohawk and an A+. Plus, okay, and give you a couple stars just to make you feel extra special. So nice work, all right? Again, you don't have to do these problems, uh, percent problems, using my um, approach. Uh, you know, as long as you knew exactly what you were doing and why you were doing it, and you're confident in your answer, you had a high level of certainty, well, then that's what matters. But this is uh, uh, the answer, 22.702. But let's check this, okay? Let's check this. Let's go ahead and find 18.5% of 22.702. So if I do that, it should be around 4.2, right? So that was, let's just go back up here, make sure we have the problem. 4.2 is equal to 18.5% of what number? Well, that's that 22.702 now, right? That's our answer. So if I go, okay, let me go ahead and take 18.5% of that actual number. It should be around 4.2. So let's confirm that. And uh, this is always a good idea when you're learning this stuff is to double check your um, answers. So 18.5%, again, this 18.5% uh, as a decimal is going to be 0 0.185. And I'm going to multiply it by this 22.702. And our answer is approximately 4.1999, which again, if we round that up, that would be about 4.2. So this verifies it checks out. Okay, so I knew that I, you know, I wanted to kind of review basic percent and show you another way to uh, solve percent problems using basic algebra. I prefer um, solving percent problems in this way. Uh, so when I uh, teach uh, students in my pre-algebra, algebra courses and whatnot, percent, I like this particular approach. I also uh, uh, show you how to solve percent using other techniques, but some of you just um, use good old fashioned R-O-T-E, rote memory. You just have this you know, you just remember this way back, you know, when you um, were a student taking math, whatever at a particular level, when you learned percent, you just said, oh, okay, this kind of problem, I do this, and that's perfectly fine. Do not feel like you have to change the way you um, do these problems. But again, if you're confused about percent, well, then I would encourage you to adopt my technique. And if this little video helped you out to improve your percent skills, well, then go ahead and please consider smashing that like button. That definitely improves my um, uh, performance on YouTube. And, you know, I am trying to reach as many people as I can because I'm passionate about teaching math in a clear and understandable way. By the way, if you're new, new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. Again, my goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you like my teaching style, I have a ton of content that can help you out. Matter of fact, I have a lot of uh, other percent videos in my pre-algebra playlist on my channel. But uh, again, I teach this very thoroughly, like in my pre-algebra and algebra one courses as well. So my best math help will always be within my math help program. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.